Jay Clark here. Uh, today we're going to give you some tips on changing tires. And uh, we're here with Motocross Action. I'm going to show you the proper way to change tires and give you some tips that will help you uh, make this, what a lot of people think is a tough job, a whole lot easier. All right, so it's a good idea to start with a good quality stand. There's a few, few stands out there. This is one of, actually a buddy of mine made for me. Works well, uh, good height. Start with the sprocket side up, and I take out the valve stem core completely out. Wait, all the air comes out of the tire. Next, uh, loosen the rim lock towards just a couple threads hanging off. You don't want to take the nut all the way off, you don't lose it. And next, we're going to loosen the, we're going to take the tire off the bead. And we're just going to put our, our tire spoon. Motion Pro has these, they're available through Motorsport. Any popular site, you can get these tire spoons. And just we just slightly come around the tire. As we do, we're just pushing down. It's a little better to push right on the knob. Like so. As we do that, right here as I get to the rim lock, I push in on the rim lock. Our bead's all the way off this side. We flip it over to the this side and do the same thing. So now our tire is completely off the bead on both sides. Rim lock right here, I start just a little bit away and just slide it in just to where it's barely in. Feed it right under the right under the disc. And I come over here, pop the tire off the bead again. And now I'm ready to take my next bite, which is about one and a half inches away from the first one. So as we take in our next bite, we switch over to the Next one, and we, about an inch and a half to two inches apart max. And as we slide in, we're just sliding in far enough to get the tire. So now our tire's all the way off one side. Some people pull the tube out here. A lot more work and tougher on your fingers. So it's easier just to come over the other side, do the exact same thing. On this side, we're feeding it under the sprocket. I think our bikes are like no more than two inches apart or so. At this point, we only need one spoon. So we push the tire forward. We spin around to the rim lock side right here. Put our tire spoon in between the rim, make sure the tube's out of the way. We can pull the tire back like so. Then we can pop the tire right off. Put our rim with the disc side up, ready for the remount. I'll inspect that everything's okay before preparing our next tire. We have our new Dunlop MX-51 here. Um, at this point, it's a good idea to throw some powder in here. Put a decent amount in there. And then you just spin it around. all the way around the whole tire. And what this does is allows the tube to not chafe and rub against the, uh, the tire so much. So now at this point, this is what's a little different for a lot of people is we'll install the, the tube into the tire first. Boom. So now at this point, we're gonna put our valve core back in the stem. And I got a little valve core tool. I get those from like Napa or Walmart, wow, many places like that. We have a nice little valve core tool. Okay, so now we're gonna put a little air into the tire. This is what's different for a lot of people. And you wanna put just the right amount, never ask what that is. But if you can get an idea of this, it's not very much. Um, it doesn't register if you put a gauge on it as far as pressure, just about so. It just keeps the tube kind of taut so you won't grab it when you put your spoons in. Okay, so our next step is we got some tire paste and we rub tire paste all the way around the, the tire on the bead and right inside, right in here a little bit. We want it all around here, real nice. Put plenty on here, all the way around. At this point, I grab a valve stem nut, and I like to keep it right here. I throw the, the stem into the rim, and then with the nut, I screw it on so that it'll stay in place. Back it down, just 
just a ways, about uh, three, half, three fourths, four, three fourths of the way on. This is a Kawasaki rim, similar to a Yamaha, in that the rim lock is right next to the valve stem. So in this case, what we'll do is we'll take the rim lock down, feed it into the tire, make sure the tube is out of the way of the rim lock. And at this point, we got about a little, little less than half the tire on. And now we'll start to, to place the tire. So we're ready to go, we're keeping pressure on it with our body. And with my left hand, I'm kind of pushing down. And then as I take a bite, I lift up. And I'm taking a bite about just an inch, inch and a half max away from the last bite. Keeping the tube out of the way. I'm lifting up so I don't scratch the rim. And now we've just got a few inches left. Bites become a little less, like an inch. And now we've got just one left, and I'll slide it in here, picking up with my leg, pop it on. So we're completely on all the way right now, and ready to install this side. Sprocket side's done, and we're ready to go. So at this point, we're all here, tires lubed up. I start just a little ways away from the valve stem, get two spoons in, and just barely in. You can see the tire, the tube right there. And I'm just setting these in here about this, holding it with one hand. Grabbing my bead buddy. This is kind of a must tool uh, from Motion Pro. You can get them from Motorsport um, about anywhere. Simple little tool, very inexpensive. And this will save you a lot of hassle. So this stays here, holding the tire. And, and our first bite can be quite a ways away. And we just push down with our hand. We're feeling that the tire pops on. And when we go in, we're only going in just where we feel it get over the lip. And like so. And then we make sure to push down all the way apart so we're keeping the tire off the bead all the way around. Now at this point you can start just making sure that the tire is staying off the bead. Now we're ready for our next bite. And we're just going like an inch at a time. Again, pushing off. Now at this point we're getting pretty close. Don't, don't try to cut it in half, just go right to about a third of what's left. And I'm pulling while holding the tire steady. At this point, if I keep my, my tire spoon in here and push, I can push down on the tire to pop it in, and then come over here, lift this up, pull my bead buddy out, and I'm ready to fill my tire and put it on the bead. Okay, so now, now we're gonna fill the tire, and we're making sure the tire comes on the bead on both sides and then we don't have any problems with uh, a tube caught or that we pinched it or anything, so we're gonna really make sure we're on both sides. So here we're completely on the bead. We're gonna flip it over, inspect the other side that we're all the way on. Next, next thing we're gonna do before we check tire pressure is we're gonna dial the rim lock down and tighten it up. A nice little ratcheting 12 is really nice for this. And you just get it to where it's nice, good and snug, tight, not too much, you can break the rim lock or blow out your rim. Okay, so I'm gonna set this at 15, not using it for a week or two. Um, good idea to, most tires, anywhere from 11 and a half to 14 range, it all depends on the conditions you're riding in. If you're riding in hard rocky stuff, you're gonna be 14, soft, muddy stuff, you can be down into the 11 to 12 range and be just good. So that's all there is to it. The main thing is just taking your time, not getting freaked out. Um, obviously, you get better at anything with more practice. Um, having a good stand, good tools, all the tools you need the proper way, a good lube on the tire, all help and make it a whole lot easier job.